in in summary in summary i'll tell you what we've done first thing we created our project five new project then you continue and you put next and you put your group com dot and you put your actifier ID testing one two three four and you click on okay you click on next finish and I'll open that as a new project then that is that so then I click new package step definition then create another new package for my page objects we're going to use that later So also create another package from our runner. So then I created new folder, new file for test ng. Then I pasted the test ng one, so which test ng. So let me just copy from here test ng. Then also I've got my runner, which I can now create for the runner here. Not this one. Runner. So we created our runner class. New class test runner so so because my runner is in same I can just paste it like that so it's showing cucumber and everything because it's gonna be so my pawn I need to go to my pawn and import everything so my pawn is the difference so also we created um, we imported our pawn the dependencies on the pawn so okay I won't copy I'll just copy the dependencies so on the phone. So and I said you need to say auto import or you say import changes. So I will say just auto import and that should yeah, that is fine. And also my pawn is yeah, it's fine. Then after that also I'll create your feature files so we created registration dot feature so we say feature registration and on 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 like that so I don't want to so I'll just copy from here
So, okay. So, this is wrong. It's not supposed to be there. So, uh, which, uh, so, I just copy and paste that. So, that's my feature files. So, but I actually put it in the step definition, which is wrong. And I said, okay, I need to create a new directory and I call it um, resources. So what I need to do in that is to make it my resource root, then create a new directory. I call it feature. So then normally I should create a new one and put the feature file there. But I've created this, I can drag it into this one. So yeah, I want to do that. So yeah, that is that. So now, since that is that, so I can create my step definition. I said there are two ways to do that. So we try a different approach, but that didn't work. So what we're going to do is uh, now we run the Maven. So I'll go to CD. So that is the one CD testing. So Maven install. Okay, so now you have this line of code. Say you need, you can implement missing steps. You copy those ones that are missing, and you create your step definition. So I call it registration steps. Oh, okay, sorry, that should be delete. Yeah. So just don't to confuse you. Okay, it should be Java class. So then is that here. So that is bringing that for me. I press on Alt Enter, and that is bringing uh, also this one Alt Enter. That's bringing two at the pen to first one Alt Enter, and that. then also Alt Enter. So that is that. So that is everything that we've done in this. So. So that's everything that we've done. Then also, I now view the terminal. I can now say Mervin, yeah, maybe test. So that runs my test. So which is going to have a target folder right now after it's finished. Oh, cool, that's that. So inside my target folder, I have my report, the Kumba report. And you can see the Kumba report as in go on um, the advanced report. But if I do Maven verify, that comes into play. So, and I said also the Maven line of code that you are writing there, you can also run it from the Maven project. You click on view Maven project that comes up, then you go to life cycle and you can just double click. So and that is done.
So yeah, the advance comes in, and on the advance you see your XML report, which should look like the one we've we've seen here. So yeah, so yeah, that's everything as of the one that we've done today. So next week we look again. We start from what exactly is BDD, what is a feature file, what a feature file to entails, and we move from there. Any question? At assignment now you need to write your feature file for login and also for valid login, valid in um, registration, um, valid login, invalid registration, and also invalid login, and also write a feature file for posting an ad. So those three, valid posting an ad, valid login, and also invalid registration, or if you can do invalid login also. So that, um, those are the assignments. So write your feature files for them and try to map them with your step definition. You don't need to put any Selenium code inside. So that's where we're going to start from next week. All right, thanks.